Oh, no, it's on. It's on. It's on. Oh. Somehow my stool got thrown out. My yellow top stool. Oh, there's one in here, I thought. Is there? That's a lost cause, that thing. Well, that's a better one. Put that one over there. Put that one over there. This is not too bad. I wonder what happened if I turned it. Is that getting bigger? Is that going up? I think so. You watch it here? It's just squeaking. Yes, it's going up. Maybe you bite it. There we go. That's it. Okay. Well, we have stuff. Oh my word. We have 531 comments since this morning. Don't like that. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, there we go. Looks like Carlene's daughter Gwen is here. Okay, well, the excitement of the day until the mail comes is that that lovely little bud, oh, he's such a sweet little horse, etc., etc., has turned into a raving maniac. Apparently, he bashed through a fence over there at Meredith Farm and managed to kick Elizabeth in the neck. That puts his back feet pretty high up. Unless she fell down. But at any rate, um, Elizabeth got kicked in the neck and she's all right. Um, not too happy about it. Um, and he's bit, bitten. Everybody? Is that, did, was that, oh, did I take the message? You didn't hear it? I didn't hear it. Oh, I, thought you, I thought I was on speakerphone. Uh, well, he apparently has bitten a lot of people. He just used his mouth, he was doing it here. But he's got to be told that that's not acceptable. So he's to come back and Matt is supposed to be playing with him. So you may see some activity in the arena. And please, this is a big animal. He may have to be handled a little bit roughly to get his mind back where it belongs. So. Let's not everybody get all excited. When's he going to do that? <laughs> I think he's bringing him over now. I think they don't want him over there. Um, but I think that we can cope with him over here. I think Matt can cope with him over here. I'm not going to cope with him. He's awful cute. You still have those two little ones? Huh? You still have those two little ones? Or is that what we're talking about? We're talking about the... The two little black horses? Oh no, they're not good. They're they're straight in. No, we're talking about the baby, the baby draft horse. Uh, what did they name him? Bud, Bud, something like that. At any rate, he's a nice looking horse. The one that was just born a couple months ago. Yeah. Ah. She said he's huge. I watched him on camera get bigger. No, he really has it. Yes. His mother is lovely. Both mothers are lovely, huh. but these babies <laughs> are terrible. Wow. So Matt's going to be fooling with him.
Wow, okay. Okay, I have glasses on my nose now. I can see. Thank you. Well, this is, let's, let's, let's put that one on the bottom. National Grid for Janine Jakes. I'll take that. That goes, okay. It usually goes up in a hole. I'll there. take her whole pile. Well, how about that? Okay. Good luck. And this one is the Teresa Dixon, who hasn't worked here in 10 years, maybe. Goes in there. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 7. Bye. Bye. Good night. Is today Saturday? No. No. She says she said we're minus an overnighter for Saturday. Mm -hmm. Did everybody hear that? We didn't, we're minus somebody to stay overnight here on Saturday night. Okay, this is Kathleen Weaver, Springfield, Virginia. Are you going to shut that off? Oh, that'd be good. I do get complaints about that. I know, that's why I closed the door. <laughs> okay. Kathleen Weaver. Here she comes. Oh. What happened? Dark there we go. Here. You're going to have to sit on the white stool, I guess. Okay, and this says, Dear Carlene, I so enjoy watching you train your dogs along with your caring staff. Please accept this donation for 15 chicken bricks from Kathleen Weaver, Springfield, Virginia. Well, isn't that lovely? Thank you very much. That goes in the pot. We'll put the pot down on the floor. There we go. And you can hold that, or you can hold that. Lovely. That's the first thing. And this one is, uh-oh. Wait a minute, I take that one back. You could have this, so you could have that one on top of it. Now nope. you got everything. Okay, now I'm going. This is Jose Perez from Tampa, Florida. East of Lanny Hill. Have you two met before? I've seen you in past. Daughter, daughter Gwen. I'm Des. Des? Yeah, you too. Okay, and this is, I've enclosed a check for 50 to use for five chicken bricks. Take care and stay well. Eileen and Jose Perez, okay. So that goes in there. Uh-oh. The other one I need for chicken bricks. I need the letter. You weren't supposed to get the letter. It says 150 chicken bricks, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. See, every, uh, yeah, I put it in there. Population connection. I don't think I would want to worry about that. Medicare. Important plan information. I don't think I really want to do this now, but let's just open it and take a quick run through it. Oh, no, that's not interesting. And this is all of us research program. Do you, do you remember this? This is Mass General? Yes. Oh, 
they're after information. Well, I've been trying to keep up with it. I like it when they send me papers because I, I have trouble with uh, online. If anybody would like to hear about my problems with trying to fill out something online, I don't know. And Lynn is not here because she went to a wedding at 4 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start at the bottom here. Thank you. What on earth? Here, you can have that. I don't know who that's from yet. Remember, Larky will eat it. This is to get plastered on the front of our cabinets out there. Because we're having an argument with the, with the uh, towel at the kitchen sink. We want to be in charge of that, Bill? See if we can get that. Um, sticker? I think it's a sticker. Sticker. I don't This must... I maybe want to keep this to that they do name tags and corporate connections, notary supplies, brands. That's a very nice sign. I don't know how uh, yeah, I guess you can be in charge of that one. And this goes to Judy Judy's husband. Awesome. And that gets that done. And now we have the box. Now we have the box. And the box is heavy. And the box is from Laura. We go Ooh. laundry laundry if I pick this up you're gonna take the bag of the box away yeah. somebody yes wait It's your turn, right? My turn, yep. I will put that over here. Uh, have you seen the reorganized cellar? Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. There we go. That goes there. This goes here. And she goes over there. Mm. And I'll lead on this one. McCabe says, hi, Gwen. Nice to see you. Oh, hello. Um, Crafty R says, how is Jimny's leg today? Did he have x-rays yesterday? <laughs> Jimny had a little, what I consider a little tiny hole in him. Mm. You don't x-ray a hole that I know of. Yeah. Unless he's supposed to, like, anybody thought maybe he had metal or something in there, I suppose that would be logical. Yeah. But we did identify where he hooked his leg on the fence because it was just a tiny little piece of chimney on the fence yeah. hook. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just a tiny little place where the X pen over, you know, has a, has a hook like that in it. And that's what he caught him. I see. Poor Jim. 
Okay, Peg McCabe says, what stall will Bud go in? I don't know what they're going to do. It's going to be for somebody else to figure out. Mm. Okay. I mean, we can't put the two babies together if this one has really turned into a bit of a bully at the moment, but we're, mm -hmm. Matt will figure it out, and we'll just have to go with what happens. Basically, we have a bit of a dangerous, lovely, cute, little dangerous thing on our hands at the moment. And uh, the fences over at Meredith are not holding him. Mm. Okay, Crafty R says, how is Pete feeling today? How is his temperature? How is it? Um, I don't know how his temperature is, um, but he's still not feeling it himself, I don't think. Does he eat? He's been eating. Um, we have to, water. yeah, we kind of have to prompt him to eat and to drink. And if we take him out, he'll pee and poop, but he doesn't really get up on his own. So, really? Yeah, he's still not feeling great, I'd oh, say. So. Okay, so he probably does have a temperature. We'd, why don't Oh, we... I'm sure he probably does, but I'm not. Um, You're not a temperature taking type? I, I personally did not take his temperature today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. It must be written down somewhere. You guys are so organized. Oh yeah. Down there. No, it it probably was taken today. I just I was not the one to take it. Um. Yeah. Okay. And G says Bud needs to learn manners. Indeed. That certainly is true. Yeah. <laughs> Before he gets any bigger. Yeah. I believe Rosie's coming with him. Yeah, Diana H. asks, is Rosie coming too? So, he, she must be. <laughs> Go ahead with the next one. Okay. Lone Ivy asks, can Matt train my hubby's grandson? <laughs> I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Yeah. Okay. Sniddle says, Carlene, what did you mean you failed Jiminy? As per the I didn't, daily. I didn't uh, make sure that he had somebody with him to babysit him while he woke up from the anesthesia, which I have been very careful to do for the last 20 years. Um, I didn't know he'd gone to the vets. That was the problem. So mm. go ahead. Next. Des. Yep. Schnauzer mom asks, does short for... It's just Des. <laughs> Des? Yep. Des is long enough. Yep. <laughs> Not short for anything. Yeah. Um, Miss Golf says, Carlene, did you put the 15 I did. To How about in? that? I didn't get lost this time. Good. Um, I don't think you can throw. Okay. That's about mail. Um, Indy Dunes asks, Hi, Carlene, does and Gwen, how's your Friday? What's for dinner? Friday. Well, we went and picked up Gwen. Well, no, it started early. I went to breakfast at the local truck stop down there at Reds. Do you know about Reds? Where do you live, anyway? I live in Newbury. Oh, well, you go the wrong way. Mm -hmm. um, Reds is in Peabody on okay. the northbound lane. Yeah. Right sort of across from the where the um, shuttle was. Okay. And it's a it's a wonderful breakfast place because they serve breakfast all day long because truckers come and go. Mm -hmm. And it, it was really crowded this morning at at seven o'clock and things. And I just got a takeout of what did I get a takeout of? Eggs Benedict. Mm. And it was as good as eggs Benedict as I've had anywhere. Um, but I did look over his menu, the end menu there, and they do have eight, ten, and fourteen ounce hamburgers. Oh, among like, other things. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been having a hamburger for breakfast here for four last four days <laughs> and I've enjoyed that. So may I may have to go down there for breakfast. And after that I took my car up to get the mirror put back on and I took three dogs. Is that what I did? Yes. And then Matt Mark came and got me in time to go get Gwen at the airport. And it, that's, that's about how far we got. Nice. Came back, picked up the dog, the car, and here we are. Yeah. 
That'll do it. How was, how was your Friday? <laughs> well, I'm happy that travel here was uneventful. I Good. flew from Asheville, North Carolina to Newark and then from Newark to Boston and there were no delays. So I feel very lucky. Good. <laughs> there was no, no delays at all. That's amazing. No, yeah. but the TSA stole my sunglasses. Uh. And I'm not happy about that. Yeah. I had my bag locked with a TSA lock on it and my prescription sunglasses are missing. And I'm not happy. So that would, the only way they could have gotten out is through that lock. There's a note inside from the TSA and apparently the process to make a claim is very complicated. I have to download forms and provide receipts and all kinds of stuff. So I can't even do that until I get home. But yeah, I'm not going to let them do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. that is, they've crossed the wrong one when they took her sunglasses because she'll stay <laughs> after I've only had them a month. They've changed my life. I can go back to wearing sunglasses again because I need glasses, but uh -huh. I can't see. I need prescription sunglasses, so I finally, after like five years, bought them a month ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. boy. Don't worry, they'll hear from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, your household insurance. Yeah. Don't that begin to cover? Well, you know, TSA says submit a claim. I'm going to do that, too. Oh, good. And we'll it has that. a thing to fill out about whether you you have household insurance. Huh. <sighs> okay. Joanne A. says the Larky sign was from me. Oh, there you go. It was supposed to say Joanne Abram on address. It was supposed to what? Say Joanne Abram on address. Yeah, I think it, the address just said um, like custom signs or whatever oh. the um, company was. But thank you, Joanne. It's very cute. Um, Roxy's mom says, hello, Carlene, Des, and Gwen. Gwen, you should know that we all love and respect your mom so much. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, Texas Toast says, how long will Gwen be visiting you? I'll be here until Monday. Nice. Do you realize that that's a pile behind you? That's pictures, old pictures, in those things right there. Mm -hmm. That's fun, fun pile. Okay, Roxy's mom asks, is Bud coming without his mom, Rose? I, I No, I think they're together. Yeah. I don't know. That's up to Bud. Yeah. I mean, up to Mar Matt. Whatever. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Mark. No. Matt. Matt. <laughs> I have too many M's. Yeah. Um, Shoprin asks, just a thought with Bud coming back and Forrest still here. What well, I can hear. With Bud coming back and Forrest still here, is there a possibility they will get to play with each other? I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear that last part. Will Bud and Forrest play together? I don't know. Eventually they might, but it's right now I don't know yeah. how big Bud is compared to how big Forrest is. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all I know. Okay. Any other questions? Is that all? I think that's it. That's it. Okay. Do you okay. Have anything else? <laughs> that's it. Good night, everybody. Okay, good night. Somebody good push night. the button and we leave. Thank you.